हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज़ नियति सईट थैंक्स फॉर वाचिंग एडुपीडिया वर्ड वीडियोस इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी विल कंटिन्यू टू डिस्कस अबाउट द थर्ड सेक्शन ऑफ द एनिमल किंगडम दैट इज फाइलम नाइडेरिया और सिलेंट्रेटा ओके नाइडेरियंस नाइडेरियंस आर इनक्रेडिबली Diverse in form, as evidenced by colonial siphonophores, massive medusae and corals, feathery hydroids and box jellies with complex size. Okay, yet these diverse animals are all armed with stinging cells called nematocyst. Nidarians are united based on the pre-assumptions that their nematocysts have been inherited from a single common ancestor okay the name nidaria comes from a greek word nidos which means a stinging nettle casually touching many nidarians will make it clear how they got their name when their nematocysts eject barbed threads tipped with poisons Many thousands of cnidarian species they live in world's ocean from the tropics to the pole from the surface to the bottom some even burrow a smaller number of species are found in river and fresh water lakes so they are mostly aquatic most uh, and marine sessile or freely swimming they are they have radially symmetrical animals the name nidaria is derived from the nidoblast or nidocyst which contain the stinging capsules or nematocyst which are present on their tentacles and the bodies okay nidoblast are used for anchorage defense and for the capture of prey okay nidarians they exhibit tissue level of organization and they are diploblast they have a central gastrovascular cavity with a single opening mouth on the hypostome digestion is extracellular and intracellular some of the nidarians for example corals have a skeleton composed of calcium carbonate okay nidarians they exhibit two body forms so one is polyp and other is medusa the former is sessile and cylindrical form like hydra okay the polyp polyp is sessile and cylindrical form like hydra for example adamsia whereas the latter which is known as medusa they are umbrella shaped and freely swimming like aurelia or jellyfish okay those nidarians which exist in both the forms they exhibit alternation of generation that means metagenesis for example uh, or you can say that polyp produce medusa asexually and medusa form the polyps sexually for example obelia so uh, if we see the general characters in summary Cylindrata they are aquatic mostly marine and a few are freshwater they have tissue grade of organization organ and organ system are absent they are diploblastic bodies formed of two layers of cell with an outer ectoderm and the inner endoderm with a non cellular jelly like layers of mesoglea in between radial symmetry with oral and aboral ends no definite head means they don't have specific or definite head a central cavity called gastrovascular cavity which opens to the exterior by the mouth because anus is absent in cylindrata or nidarians okay digestion if uh, we talk about the digestion they have both intracellular and extracellular okay the presence of stinging cells or nidoblast is a distinguishing feature of nidarians these stinging cells or nidoblast they are present in ectoderm a nidoblast cells possess a capsule called nematocyst containing poisonous fluid the nidoblast cells are defensive cells used to kill or par paralyzes other prey and enemies okay they are acelomates 
there is no separation between digestive cavity and general body cavity okay and when it comes to respiration and excretion so they both occur by diffusion through the body surface okay some of them have skeletons that is made up of caco3 for example corals okay if we talk about nervous system then nervous system is primitive and uh, formed of a network of nerve cells and fibers throughout the body reproduction is by both sexual and asexual means fertilized eggs may develop into a larva called planula okay its larva is known as planula and alternation of generation or metagenesis is found in the life history that is a uh, asexual polyploid generation alternates with the sexual medusoid generation okay polyp and medusa are the two body forms polyp is a sessile and cylindrical from like uh, form like hydra and adamsia etc whereas uh, medusa is umbrella like and usually freely swimming see the, these are freely swimming and it represents the asexual stage okay polyp it represents the asexual stage whereas medusa they represent a sexual stage okay this is the representation of cnidarians see this is their mouth these are the tentacle where the cnidoblasts are present and uh, see and these are cnidoblasts that are present on the tentacles this is a bud uh, formation which has taken place this is the gastro and vascular cavity and this is the foot of the hydra okay there are four major groups of cnidarians first is anthozoa anthozoa which includes true corals anemones and sea pens okay whereas the other category or other group of cnidarian is cubozoa the amazing box jellies with complex eyes and potent toxins hydrozoa the most diverse group with siphonophores hydroids fire corals and many medusae skyphozoa is a true jellyfish now we will be discussing about the major groups of cnidarians in detail okay first is anthozoa geologically the anthozoans are the most important of the cnidarian group because their polyp often produce calcitized skeleton that are radially preserved as fossils okay they can be either solitary or colonial means they exist in a colony or they exist nuclear anthozoans they differ from other cnidarians in that they have no medusite stage okay that means polyp stage is the only zoid and medusa is completely absent examples are sea anemones and coral like fungia and favia okay they are exclusively marine and they occur at various depths from shallow to deep water okay this is the representation of our class anthozoa um sea anemone these are its tentacles this is the mouth this is the partition hole and this is the basal disc through which it gets attached to the substratum and these are the reproductive organs or the gonads okay now come to the second group which is known as class hydrozoa class hydrozoa they are diverse group of cnidarians that inhabit a variety of marine and fresh water environments okay they construct their skeleton of calcite these curators can sometimes superficially resemble corals in skeletal morphology and growth habits or they can also occur as erect blades okay example such as uh, fire coral millipora they have thick calcareous skeletons with vertical tubes and cross 
partitions okay this is the representation of uh, hydrozoa class now come to scyphozoa scyphozoa is the uh, jellyfish they only occur in marine environments they are typified by a reduced polyp stage and an extended free swimming medusa stage okay Psychophozoans uh, are rarely preserved as fossils, yet surprisingly they are probably represented in the famous Edicara fauna okay, of the ecology. Almost all fossil remains of Scyphozoans, they occur as moles and less commonly as cast. So, dominant stage is the free swimming medusa stage which, which is a distinguishing feature of Scyphozoans okay this is the representation of uh, scyphozoan these are the examples of cnidarians brain coral sea fan and sea anemone so this comes to an end in the next section we'll be discussing about the other phylia that is tenophora Thank you and stay tuned.